Hi, I'm Laura, patient navigator, and I'm here today on behalf of your oncologist. During your consultation, your doctor had discussed giving a chemotherapy regimen called IV CMF regimen. In this video, I will be explaining this chemotherapy treatment. What is IV CMF? This is a chemotherapy treatment with a combination of three drugs used to treat breast cancer. IV is for intravenous administration. C is for cyclophosphamide. M is for methotrexate. F is for fluorouracil. How does IV CMF work? Cyclophosphamide is a chemotherapy medicine called an alkylating agent and sometimes called a cytoxin. It inhibits certain protein synthesis and prevents cancer cell growth. Both methotrexate and fluorouracil are related to another type of chemotherapy medicine called antimetamolites. They stop DNA synthesis in cancer cells, thus preventing cancer cells growth and division. Who gets IV CMF? CMF chemotherapy regimen is commonly used to treat early invasive breast cancer that has not spread. It is either given before surgery as neoadjuvant treatment or after surgery as adjuvant treatment. It can also be used to treat recurrent or metastatic cancer depending on prior treatment. How is IV CMF given? The three medications are given by vein on day one and day eight, which is called a treatment cycle. A treatment cycle is repeated every 28 days. You should receive six cycles of CMF for a total duration of treatment of six months. It is very important to drink at least two to three liters of water each day when taking cyclophosphamide. What are the side effects from CMF treatment? It is important to remember that different medicines have different side effects for different people. You may not have every side effect related to each medicine of the combination therapy. Less common but more serious side effects include heart changes. This can sometimes occur with fluorouracil. Allergic reactions. Your doctor would prescribe medications to prevent allergic reaction before chemotherapy infusion. Skin changes. Ulceration pigmentation, or light sensitivity are common symptoms. To avoid more serious forms of skin problems, avoid excess sun exposure and make sure you wear sunscreen. Please call your doctor if you have a fever over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, fatigue, shortness of breath, heart racing or palpitation, discomfort lying on your back, swelling of the ankles, cough, difficulty in breathing, severe allergy, or chills. Common side effects of CMF include low blood counts. CMF chemotherapy can also affect some of the normal blood cells. Your doctor will be monitoring your blood counts weekly in the first two weeks of each cycle. Low red cell counts or anemia. If you get too anemic, you may experience fatigue, palpitations, or increased heartbeat, and shortness of breath with exertion. If you have significant anemia, your doctor may choose to give you blood transfusions low white blood cell count, which can result in reduced immunity and increased susceptibility to infections. Low platelet counts. This can result in heavy bleeding from small wounds, nose bleeding, bruising, coffee ground vomiting, or blood in urine or stool. Your doctor might also decide to defer treatment or reduce dosing or skip one or two doses if the counts remain very low. Watch for signs of anemia and or bleeding tendency and call your doctor if symptoms bother you. Infections are from low white blood counts. Watch for signs of infection like high fever, cough, sore throat, skin changes, burning urine or diarrhea, nausea and vomiting. You may experience nausea alone or with vomiting from CMF chemotherapy. Your doctors will give you one or more anti-nausea medications before each cycle to prevent early nausea and vomiting, which can happen in the first hours. You will also be given an oral medication to take for a few more days at home and as needed after that. It is very important to follow your doctor's instructions regarding taking the anti-nausea medications to avoid this side effect and its complications. Bladder irritation. This is a side effect of cyclophosphamide that happens because of low fluid intake. So please drink at least two to three liters of water each day during your treatment duration. Diarrhea or constipation, mouth sores and changes in taste, fatigue, loss of concentration, hair loss or thinning, eye soreness, effects on fertility and symptoms of menopause. 
This may occur as hot flashes and mood changes. Your doctor will discuss with you the available options for preserving your fertility. Please call your doctor if you feel you are not well and if side effects do not improve or go away after medications. Please tell your doctor about any medicines you are taking, including vitamins, herbal supplements, and over-the-counter medicines to make sure they won't interfere with your treatment. For managing a specific side effect, please watch our symptom-specific video. Call 911 immediately if you experience a medical emergency. If you have additional questions, contact your doctor's office, or you can always ask an oncologist in the OncoPower app. Thank you for watching. Feel free to replay this video as often as you would like to. Thank you and good luck.